All right, it's happened. It's mid-May, so I guess it's time for all the shows to get canceled. Uh, many of the big networks recently announced their newest renewals, new series, and what shows you will never, ever see again. And some of them are kind of heartbreaking. Some of them are rightfully deserved. I want to start with ABC, which uh, unfortunately has canceled The Muppets after one season, along with some other shows, uh, Castle. We, we previously reported the female lead would not be returning for the next season, and now we know that neither is Nathan Villian because the show is canceled. We also have, sadly, Agent Carter is going to be gone, which is a show I reviewed for a little bit on What the Flick until we didn't we stopped doing them because people weren't watching them and that's the problem with agent carter as well it was highly loved by the people who watched it but it was not highly rated so they've killed i mean spoiler alert but they've killed peggy carter twice in one month now so with that uh we do have agents of shield returning but not its spin-off marvel's most wanted which would have sh starred uh nick blood and adrian palicki who never can seem to catch a break. So perhaps those characters will be going back to ABC? As for CBS, we see a couple other shows that are not coming back. Uh, a lot of them I don't care about, including Mike and Molly, uh, Person of Interest, and Angel from Hell. CSI Cyber is done after two seasons, which means that none of us get to laugh at CSI Cyber anymore, unfortunately. The CW has ended Beauty and the Beast, or it will after this upcoming season. Uh, Girls will on HBO will also be ending after this season, which I never cared for. Togetherness as well. Rizzoli and Isles from TNT is gone. Unforgettable from A&E. Royal Pains from USA. Episodes uh, from Showtime. But going over to Fox, we have Border Town, Cooper Barrett's Guide to Surviving Life, Grandfathered, and The Grinder being all axed. And I... I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, CBS is ending Supergirl, but fortunately the CW is picking the show up for a second season and hopefully giving it more prominence. I guess you could have probably predicted this from looking at the crossover episode in this last season. And I mean, if you want to look at who's doing D DC dramas based on superheroes, it is the CW. You may not like this news. If you like the way that Supergirl was being done before and you dislike the way CW does handle these superhero dramas, which is a lot of angst and a lot of going off book and going wildly off book if you're Arrow. But at least it's still alive and we, it, it has yet to see how it will actually pan out. Um, what show are you saddest to see go this season? I'm sure more news is going to come out probably when I post this video, probably after, probably for the next few weeks. We'll be finding out a lot of shows that are still in limbo, uh, whether they'll be renewed or canceled or what have you, or delayed for the middle of the season. Um, what show will you miss the most, audience? Let me know below in the comments. And please like and subscribe for more.